Hello everyone, welcome to our channel TS Info Technologies. My name is Arvind and today we will learn about Python NumPy repeat function. So before I start, let us move forward and have a look at the agenda for today. So in this video, we will understand how do you repeat an element in a NumPy array. And we will also execute the example regarding this query. Then we are going to discuss how to repeat rows in a NumPy array Python. So let us move forward and understand these important topics. But before I start, let me tell you guys, we have already created a detailed article on this topic and link of that article will be available in the description. You get all the code related to the example which are available in the article only. So guys, as you can see that in this article, we have created many important topics. So guys, in this session, we will learn about the NumPy repeat function. So basically this function is used to repeat the numbers inside of an array and it also repeats the specific elements of array. This method is available in numpy package module. You can easily import this. So guys, this is the syntax of numpy.repeat function and within this function there are few parameters. Our first parameter is a that indicates the in input array which we want to repeat the elements in it. After that, repeats parameter. This parameter indicates how many times we have to repeat the elements in an output. Access. This parameter is used in two dimension array or multi dimension array. By default it takes none value but if you want to give the value that uh, suppose if you give the value access is equal to zero in any example. So it will display the rows elements and if you want to get the one value it will display the column elements. So guys, let's have a look at the example and understand the working of numpy.repeat function. Now I am going to copy this code and paste into my Visual Code Studio. Now I am going to execute this code. So guys, in this example, first we have imported the numpy library. Without this library, we cannot use this numpy.repeat function. So after importing the numpy library, we create a simple array and then we declare a variable that is result within this variable we have assigned the np.repeat function and pass the array and the repeat value as an argument as you can see that the output every element had has repeat three times that 56 56 56 so guys our next topic is python numpy repeat array in this example we gonna use the numpy.repeat function and it will and this function will check how to repeat elements in a numpy array. So guys, if you do not use the numpy.repeat function, instead of this, you can use the np.time function. This function is used to repeat the number of items which are present in the numpy array. So guys, this is the syntax of numpy.time function. And within this function, there are two parameters. One is input array and second one is repeatance that how many times we have to repeat the elements in numpy array. So guys, this is the example. We have imported a numpy library and then by using np.array function, we have created an array and assigned integer values in it. After that, we create a variable and assign the repeatancy value in it. Now, you, now we have used the np.time function and within this function, we have pass array and the repeatancy value. So guys, our next topic is Python NumPy repeat data. In this program, we will learn how to repeat data elements in NumPy Python. So again, to perform this particular task, we are going to use this numpy.repeat function. This function basically is used to repeat the elements in an, which is available in the NumPy array. Along with that, we have mentioned the axis for repeat the values. As you can see that our example that we have mentioned the axis is equal to 1. So it indicates for example, suppose you have a two dimension array and you want to repeat the elements in it uh, horizontally or vertically. If you want to get the uh, values repeat in horizontally, then you have to set the value axis is equal to 1. If you want to get the values row wise, then you have to set the axis is equal to 0. Now I am going to copy this code and run into my machine. So guys, as you can see that the elements have been repeated column wise. That means horizontally. If you modify this program that axis is equal to zero. Now I am going to execute this code. You can see that the 
number of dependency has been represented vertically that is row wise so again our next topic is python numpy repeat 2d so in this example we are going to learn how to repeat to how to repeat elements in two dimension array so again to do perform this task we are going to use numpy.repeat function in this example in previous example we have mentioned that x is equal to 1 but in this example we have mentioned that x is equal to 0 so this is the function in this example we have saved cover this by using np.array we created a function and after that we use the numpy.repeat function and within this function we have passed the array that is elements name and number of repeatancy along with the axis as you can see that it will display in the row wise so guys our next topic is python numpy repeat each row in this example we will learn how to repeat the elements each row in numpy array to do this task we are going to use the numpy.time method and it will help the user to create a new array by repeating a number of times so guys our next topic is python numpy delete repeat in this program we will learn how to delete repeat elements in numpy array function so to do this task we are going to use the numpy.unique function basically this function is used to find the unique elements from an array so uh, so our topic is python numpy delete repeat so that means we have to repeat, uh, repeat the uh, delete the repeat elements from an numpy array and get the unique values from it so so guys to get the detailed information about numpy.unique function you can check our article that is python numpy unique and link of that article will be available in the description so guys this is the syntax that is numpy.unique and within this function there are few parameters that is array return index return inverse but in this example we have only checked the unique element and delete repeatancy so as you can see that the repeatancy elements have been removed from an input array so guys our next topic is python numpy duplicate elements so in this example we will learn how to find duplicate elements in numpy array so to do this task first we will import the counter function and after that we created a variable that is new array and within this we have used the np.array function for creating an array and after that we use the counter function in uh, list comprehension method now if you execute this program the duplicate elements have been found so guys our next topic is python numpy loop over rows in this example we are going to learn how to iterate over rows by using loop method in python so to do this task first we will create an array by using np.arrange function and to give the shape of an array we use the np.reshape function in it so as you can see that the first we created a variable for creating an array and then we use the for loop and this is the iterable as you can see that the so guys our next topic is python numpy times function in this in this example we will learn how to how to use times function in numpy array for getting the repeatancy value in numpy array so this function is basically available in numpy package module and it is used for repeating the number of items or you can say the elements which are available in the numpy array so this is the function name np.tile and within this function there are two parameters that is input array and the repeatancy so as you can see that the output so with this we have completed important topics so guys if you like this video please subscribe this channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you so much.